no, 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 I don't want to see this. No, no. Ah! One day, when talking to their new neighbors, Gabriel and Tatiana were told that the previous tenants of their house claimed to hear the unexplained sound of a little girl running and crying throughout the home. Fuck that. At first, Gabrielle and Tatiana simply dismissed the creepy stories as superstition, and they didn't give them a second thought. But then one night, when Tatiana is home alone, she begins to hear something absolutely terrifying. This can't be that bad. It's okay, but I'm watching, I'm just watching my stupid TV show. And I heard like some kind of sobbing, so... Mm. Nope. Like, I can mm. hear right now of crying. No. I thought it was the neighbors, mm -hmm. but it's been going on for like about, I don't know, like five, ten minutes. No. Shit, what you gonna let us hear for a bitch when we wanna hear it? I, I can barely walk. Coming from downstairs. Don't go investigate, bitch! Don't go look, bitch! Baby, no! I'm not, not gonna go. Bitch, no! Baby, go, no! What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that shit, bitch? It's like it's coming from our room. <laughs> don't go look, no. No, no, no. Don't you look. Don't you go look, bitch. No, bitch. Bitch, no. 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 Bro, that goddamn sound effect notification just now scared the shit out of me. Oh! Don't do it, bitch! Bitch, no! Baby, no! Bitch, don't do it, bitch! You got so much to live for, bitch! No! Bitch, I hear that. Hold on now. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! Oh. Ho! Run, bitch! As Tatiana ah! slowly walks down the stairs, she records the horrifying audio of what sounds like a man moaning and weeping right inside the couple's downstairs bedroom. Tatiana is terrified, and for obvious swarm. reasons, she doesn't dare check inside the room. Nope. She calls Gabriel in a panic Drew. and tells him Eagle that there Drew. might be someone Where, check that in the house. Luckily, he's only five <laughs> minutes away and hurries home to confront whoever it might be. But, no. When he arrives, he searches the entire call home the top to bottom, but Nigga, you can call no somebody. one there. If you do call the, the sobbing police, you has now they, stopped, they, they and he can't find anything in the house that could have caused the noise. Gabriel says that after this incident, they have heard other strange, unexplained noises in their home nope. late at night. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think this could be? And what would you do if you heard the same sound? Nigga, I'm moving tonight. Fuck you, man. I'm out this bitch. Maybe coming from your nope. bedroom. No. Nope. Let me know down in the comments. In another video sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Raven Ellis, Raven and her sister Rocky celebrate their shared birthday with their friends. For fun, they decide to go on a drive to an allegedly haunted bridge near their hometown. Nope. The bridge was nope. constructed in 1909 hey, and has a very you dark history. Bro. It is said you, that in bro. 1930, a woman named Helen yeah, lost Joseph. her infant daughter in a raging house fire. Heartbroken from the I'm loss, moving. She spiraled into a severe depression before ending her life at what's now called Haunted Helen's Bridge. Many people claim to have seen the ghost of Helen at the bridge and have heard her loud mournful screams and sobbing in the middle of the night. Sister Raven, her sister, yeah, and their friends drive to the bridge That's and record the as they explore the site in the middle of the cute. night. Show your pussy, bitch. It did not go well. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, they went at night. Oh, um, it's Raven and everybody. Bitch, no! We We're going to. Bitch, no! Bitch! If you find this footage, that's what's happening. What are you doing, bitch? I know. What are we doing? 
What are we and doing? So it's Adam, Kiki, Rocky. But this female is kind of cute. Hold on now. Yeah, yeah, show your pussy, bitch. Ooh. Hell yeah, they holding hands. Ooh, that shit about to be a threesome, nigga. Bad bitches holding hands. Don't mind if I do. Yo, what, keep that, that flashlight on, please. Mm. Oh, what? Please. Run, bitch! Run! Run, bitch! As a dude, this is like the perfect situation to get a threesome. Because the women, they gonna wanna cuddle when they get back to the crib because they scared. And nothing cures pain and fear like my penis. You know, at least that's what I'm gonna tell the females. Hey, look, I got the antidote to the fear you're feeling. You just gotta suck it out of a tube. Hey, getting some ass tonight. The group hears a terrifying <laughs> scream man. and runs back to the car. Now, what? of course, anyone's first what, thought would be look, that what? it could possibly I'm be a prank or maybe about even this. fake. Okay. But I'm the looking girls at this sound legitimately the terrified. Cool. And the bridge you gotta is in the, the middle of nowhere, far away from any people. Izzy, don't knock him on Izzy, Izzy even Wizzle. stranger as Raven gets back to the car. Her phone seems huh? to experience a strange Weezy. glitch right before she stops uh, you recording. Feel me? Holla at your boy, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you feel me, Izzy? Run, bitch! Yeah! Yeah! The best way, the best... Before they leave, Raven convinces her sister Rocky and her friend to walk towards the bridge together one more time. Are you fucking serious? These bitches are trying to die. What? And one Bitch, more don't! time, it did not go well. Bitch, don't! No. You guys are good. You got each other's hands to hold. Oh my god! <laughs> no, come on, I'm not. Yeah! <laughs> Another scream terrifies the girls, and again, they run back to the car. This time, Raven's sister discovers a mysterious injury on her arm. So, what do you think? Was it the ghost of Helen screaming from the bridge? Was it a hoax? Was it just a strange person hanging out in the remote woods that ain't trying no hoax, to nigga. prank them? That Let ain't no hoax, you bitch! <laughs> if you see a video that Run, you think would be bitch. perfect for the Run. top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something That's great, real, contact me at newstop5 at gmail.com. Why they keep fucking with it? Hunter Creek House. Over on the YouTube channel, wow, The Haunted Side, Ghost Hunters Patrick and it. Jason investigate a 100-year-old farmhouse 100? that local residents claim is extremely haunted. Is it by a female? The house has come to be known as a hotbed of paranormal activity and has sat empty and decaying for over 50 years. You know what I don't like about uh, the ghosts in all of this? None of these ghost females are ever naked, and that's not fair. You know what I mean? Like, it, like how you gonna be a ghost and have clothes? You know? Like, shit. Like, how am I supposed to... You know what I mean? I'm... Locals avoid the house entirely. What's my Discord? Patrick oh, my and Discord Jason are already right a bit on edge as they head inside the house to if begin exploring. Ghost, Almost asshole. immediately, they encounter something very unexpected that definitely puts a fright into them. But it's not exactly paranormal and then add it on to much later. What the f is that, dude? What? Whoa, oh, dude. Oh, man. I think oh, it's a bird. I think it's, it's a bird. birds. A bird. Oh, I don't like that. Bro, birds are quick, man. You can only have sex with birds if you're agile enough to jump high so you can catch it. After the angry bird yeah, settles man. back into its roost, Patrick and Jason continue and their I know investigation. What a lot of you guys are saying, they begin to hear bird. strange, unexplained noises and keep seeing Look, creepy shadows out of the corner of their eye. Into a dog house. Yeah, I'm saying, with enough prison lube, you can fit anything into anywhere. You hear that? The angry poltergeist. I ain't even see shit on that last Russian one. YouTuber Tim Morozov Ooh, is investigating so an abandoned house that one of his fans I'm told him least, about. Uh, a, a Supposedly, the house donation is violently haunted by the ghost of a young girl. I'll show my balls Tim decides camera. to stay overnight at the abandoned man. house. He oh, sets God. up night vision cameras in multiple rooms in an attempt no, to capture everything Unless that might happen. The money. <laughs> then, 
He sits in the dark and repeatedly asks the spirit to Should communicate you, with like, him. Take Something the pussy? seems to I answer. I mean, vagina, back. vagina, cyber knight. Yeah, you know I mean, even and if it's from a ghost. Can you make contact with me? Why is a ghost never given a human a bloken? Like, why has that never happened? You know, like. Oh God! Oh shit, nigga! I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Nigga. Tim inspects the small glass case, but is unable to find an explanation for why it fell. But that's just the beginning. He no longer believes that he's alone and continues asking the spirit to communicate with him. That's when he hears an odd noise from somewhere in the house. No. Ты можешь со мной выйти на контакт, я знаю, что ты здесь. А? Мой микрофон может тебя fire. записать. Ghost head, bro. I've never gotten ghost head. Run, bitch! My bad. Them's my nigga. You don't know. You gonna you gonna you gonna investigate it, nigga? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, nigga, this shit ain't fake! This shit is real, nigga! ...to hear another strange sound. Oh, fuck, nigga, stranger than someone throwing... What the fuck is that? Nigga, get the fuck out! Run, bitch! Run! It's sharpening utensils, nigga! It's about to eat your ass, bro! Run, bitch! He realizes Run! that the bizarre tapping sound is actually coming from underneath the floor. Don't go look. No. He no. finds a small entrance no. to the space underneath the house. No. No. And things take a turn. Nigga. Toward the horrific. No. No. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Oh my God, we're fucked. Oh my God, help us. Okay. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh. Help me. I don't want this. No, 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 no. I saw that move. I saw something move. Please. No, 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 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What was that? <laughs> Run, bitch! Stupid! Run! There is a cat. Nigga! So the cat was tapping metal shit together. Camera man. Stupid motherfucker. Run, get out! Get out! Oh, Why are you still there? Dude! Dude! Run away! Nigga. What? Oh, oh, that nigga throw it not! Then I run! You think? It took all that, huh? Something he can't see hisses at Tim aggressively. But scariest of all, a knife is thrown directly at him, barely missing hey, his up? face. Two weeks later. After doing some online this research, he believes he'll be able to get the sinister entity no. to leave the house. No! But of course, it did not go well. You stupid motherfucker! Stupid! Nigga! Please don't donate any uh, two G's, anybody. Hey, Lynx, don't you? Hey, Lynx, stop! Ah! 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 What the fuck are you doing here? 
Why are you not leaving here? Why are you still here? Nigga. Зачем ты это делаешь? Somebody said five hundred thousand dollars. Я хочу связаться и все. Yeah, I probably should have said five hundred thousand dollars. No, no. You about to get, you about to get beat the hell up. You about to get beat the hell up, buddy. You're about to lose everything. You about to lose your goose, my nigga. Bro, why are you still here? Зачем ты это делаешь? Why are you doing it, bro? I, I swear to God. Мне не кажется, что было похоже на что-то. На смех. Are you serious? You're still here? I would fight this guy myself if I was there. Ghost, kill this nigga. Kill him. Ты прикидываешься кошкой? Nigga, you mother... You've never seen the grudge? What do you mean are you pretending to be a cat? Oh my god, why is he so stupid? God damn it, come on! Кто ты? Почему ты не хочешь со мной говорить? Why don't you want to talk to me? You stupid mother... Oh my god, someone just kill him. He's about to die. He about to die. We about to watch a murder. It's about to be a murder. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, fuck him up. Nah, 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 don't run now. Again, a knife comes flying at Tim's face, this time from under a couch. Then a cupboard door slams open on its own. With that, Tim decides to make a run for it. But as he tries to make his escape, a bucket slides violently towards his feet, nearly making him fall flat on his face. It seems that whatever is in the house is dark, sinister, and intentionally trying to hurt him. But what do you think? Stupid. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Check out Tim's full videos, which include even more creepy footage, over on his YouTube channel, this dude Tim Rosov. Is not the Did sharpest you knife in the drawer. See her? Popular K-pop boy band Seventeen uploaded a two-part challenge series to their YouTube channel that reached a wide audience of shocked fans. In the video, the 13 members of Seventeen play a game called "quote the game of tag." The production team hired three scare actors. A man dressed as Pennywise the Clown, a man dressed as a scary old grandma holding a knife, and a masked man in a suit. The scare actor's job is to chase the boys through an abandoned factory while they have to look for a key to escape. Whoever finds the key and is able to escape through the exit of the factory wins the challenge. If the scare actors catch them and manage to physically force them out of the factory, then the team loses. To keep the game interesting, they go through the abandoned factory in teams. So the first team goes through, they get scared by the three scare actors who drag them out the entrance, and so they lose the game. But nothing else much happens. Then the next team goes through, and that's when one of the members, Wan Wu, experiences something very odd. <laughs> Did you see it? Well, if you didn't see anything, don't worry, because nothing appears on camera. That's what makes this video so creepy. Wan Wu sees what he believes to be one of the scare actors, a woman crouching on top of a cabinet. But there's nothing on the video. No woman to be seen. When Wan Wu asks about it afterwards, the production team explains that there was absolutely no one in that room. Even creepier, they tell him that all three scare actors are men. There are absolutely no women inside. Ah, that's the end. 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 That's the
나 이거 중간 빵에. 진짜 귀신 본거 아니야? 아니야 우리 중간 빵에. 아니 우리 아까 그래서 너, 네가 그렇게 얘기하다 진짜 귀신 본거 아니야 그렇게 했어. 여자분 안 계시죠? 저희 그쵸? 다 남자분만 세팅 있으세요? <웃음> 아 그래요? 진짜 귀신 뭐 얘가 처음에 보더니 여자분 여 여자. 어. 아, 네 정한이 형은 못 봤어? 난못 봤어. 어? 오. 아 진짜 그 미스터리 풀고 싶어 지금. Now it's important to mention here that the teams that still have to go through the abandoned factory have no interaction with the teams that have already went through. So when the next team enters, they have no idea what Won Woo claimed he saw. One of them, named Hoshi, gets separated trying to find the key to escape. Hoshi stumbles upon the same room where Won Woo saw the mysterious woman earlier. And that's when things get truly bizarre. Just like Won Woo, Hoshi seems to see something in the darkly lit corner of the room. He even bows politely. Mm? He too later explains to the group that he saw a woman in the corner. Hell no. 아니 어떤 여성분이 계시는데 봤어? 어? 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 진짜로? 여자 한 사람 말고 리얼 여자. 잠깐만, 잠깐만 이 얼굴을 봤어? 아이 컨택했대. 아이 마네킹 아니었어? 날 봤는데? 누나 진짜 귀신인 거 같은데요? 야 우리 이번에 컨텐츠 잘 되나 봐. Hoshi claims that the woman actually looked at him, staring him right in the eyes. The other 17 members just don't know what to think about these strange claims. And then it happens a third time. 어 여기도 사람이 있다. 저건 누구야? 어쨌든. Now that yet another 17 member sees the mysterious figure of a woman in the room, the rest of the group believes they are being pranked. They accuse the production team of setting them up. Yep. <laughs> 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 <la
I'm not moving, and it's in the same bed as me, dude. Who's here with me? This thing a dumbass. You really can't hear that, Nikki? No. I don't know what you're talking about. Bro, I can't even hear that. Ain't shit happening. You're gonna have like 15 minutes of shit you're trying to listen to right now. So if anybody's in here with me, I'm gonna put this little speaker on the property. Um, are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm right here. I legit just had a shadow at the bottom of my feet. Bradford begins to hear a strange tapping sound coming from somewhere nearby, somewhere inside the morgue body locker with him. But things get even stranger as he sees what appears to be a small shadow-like apparition moving upwards that, and out of sight. Oh, he no. immediately asks his friend Nikki if she's moving around or possibly casting a shadow, but she quickly says that she hasn't moved an inch, and even in the recording we can hear that there's no sound of anyone moving. Oh, hell no. Um, are you walking around right now? Nikki? I'm right here. You're not moving? I'm right here. My feet haven't moved. So is the Lakeville State Hospital haunted by the patients who passed away there? Let me know what you think. <coughs> Bradford shared his creepy clips on TikTok, and you can also see his full exploration of the Lakeview hey, Hospital don't on you his hate YouTube when channel, you go to drink water, The Haunted Lair. And you start coughing like halfway German down. German TikTok user Arvin.de travels to the hometown of one of the most well-known exorcism Bruh. cases of all time, that of Annalise Mickles. In 1975, Annalise Mickles' family claimed that she demonstrated strange behavior and dark supernatural abilities. Oh, hell no. Even Annalise herself claimed that she was possessed by a demon. The church was called in and Annalise Mickles went through a total of 67 exorcisms. She passed away under mysterious circumstances in her home at the age of 23. German TikToker Arvin finds a cabin that is said to have belonged to the Mickles family. When he records yeah. the inside of the cabin for his TikTok <laughs> I mean, page, no, no, he man, has I... no idea that he's being watched Waiting by something. Audio removed for copyright. Do you have more recordings? Did you see it? When Arvin pans his camera, a face can be seen quickly moving away from a hole in the cabin ceiling. Arvin says he has no idea what this creepy face could be, and he only noticed it after TikTok viewers pointed it out. So, is it a real face? Is it a trick of the light? Or is it all just an elaborate oh, yeah, hoax? For years. Love you decide. Man. That's what's up, Sponge. When the lights go out. Spongeinator. Abiud Hernandez Alvarez claims that his apartment in Mexico City is extremely haunted by a vengeful female spirit. Now for over a year he has been documenting the terrifying encounters that he says take place in his apartment on a daily basis. On Nuke's Top 5, I've featured his continuing strange story several times. So let's take a very quick look back. That's not good. Mm. The fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Even creepier, Abiud has had some chilling physical encounters with the spirit that haunts his apartment, including the disturbing sound of high heels walking through his home when no one else is there. Nope. Hell no. Woo! And he has even caught the apparition on camera. But oddly enough, up to this point, the specter has only appeared in the reflection of mirrors throughout his house. Once in his bedroom mirror. Shit. And then again, Shit. the ghost was caught on camera in a mirror in his living room. Oh, 
shit. At first, when this began in early 2020, Abiud said that he didn't mind the mild paranormal occurrences around his home. In fact, he said that he simply found them intriguing, but not necessarily scary. However, since then, things have taken a terrifying turn. The haunting in his home has become much more violent and extreme. And at this point, Abiud says that the strange experiences and loud sounds have become so intense hey, that he can't even reap. sleep at night. Abiud recently uploaded an all new video where he documents a supernatural experience in his home. The late night encounter is absolutely terrifying. Was it sexual? I do not want to see this shit, bro. I don't want to see this shit. Oh my God, I don't want to see this shit. Oh my God. Why are we watching this? What the fuck was that? I don't want to see this. see this. I don't want to see none of this. No. 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 scary yet. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Fuck? 
Abby would experience a power outage in his home, which he has mentioned in previous videos often occurs when the supernatural activity becomes very extreme. So he grabs his camera and starts to record. He experiences a few chilling events, but then he once again hears the loud clack of high-heeled shoes on his floor. The footsteps seem to be coming closer and closer. When Abiud turns around, he is shocked to see the horrifying figure of a woman. A woman who seems to be creepily smiling back at him. Oh no. The apparition disappears into thin air and soon after the lights in Abiud's apartment come back on and he cuts the camera. Now, after carefully reviewing and enhancing the footage in this video, I discovered another creepy event that most viewers didn't even notice. Even when the video is brightened and slowed down, the strange occurrence is still a little hard to make out. So, did you see it? There's a teddy bear sitting in a chair in the corner of the room, but when Abiud pans toward a mirror, the teddy bear is not there in the mirror's reflection. Mm. Then as he pans back toward the chair, the bear is still there, though it seems to have shifted into a different position. This is just seconds before the terrifying apparition of a woman is caught on camera. So, just what do you think happened to Abiud Hernandez Alvarez in this Mexico City apartment? Is he capturing real paranormal She's evidence bad. of a terrifying haunting? Four, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact it me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Nukestop5 viewer Jesse Worthington emailed me directly about a video he recorded of some bizarre CCTV security footage. The video shows something Jesse and his friend Sarah just can't explain and I can't really explain it either. That didn't look that fake. Now just let What's it play normal. What's up, to Tal? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh-huh. Whoa. Yeah. Look how tall they are. Whoa. That ain't nothing. Wait till she slows it up. You see the face. Right there, that was the face. No, not oh. yet. There it was. It's coming right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah, it was. See right, right there. there. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like I want a shot from this too. From this, when we get, when we do. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that ain't nothing. Yeah, hey. Hey, bless me, how are you? I'm good, bros. I'm not gonna lie, this video's kinda scaring me. Yeah. This video's scaring the shit out of me, but I'm good. That's why I had to go get some chocolate. <clears throat> there. See that? <laughs> there you right go. There, there you uh -huh. go. Whoa. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the recording shows a bright light seemingly peeking from behind a house in a suburban neighborhood. The bright abnormality changes shape as it appears multiple times. Then it seems to morph into two separate lights and just floats away and disappears. A group of friends watch in disbelief. Jesse thinks that it might be some kind of entity accidentally captured on CCTV. As compelling. But is it real? Conference room of a casino in her hometown. Redditor Lazy Ray Scallion also claims that human remains were found during the construction of the casino in which the conference room is located. The video is chilling. Just as the clock hits the midnight hour, a shadow-like transparent figure can be seen walking from one door to the other in the back of the conference room. Again, I might dismiss this video as a camera glitch, but notice that the figure seems to appear through a closed door and exits through another closed door, which makes the footage very compelling. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. A scary night at the movies. Oh, hell no. In this next video, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long and his friend Xiao Shen are exploring an old theater in northern China that has been abandoned for at least 40 years. The two friends find old machinery, projectors, and films dating back to the 1980s. It's unclear why the large theater was abandoned or why so much expensive and collectible film equipment was left behind. 
As they explore the creepy building, the two ghost hunters try to lighten the mood and joke around as they find the women's restroom. Restroom. But after the fun and games, things start to get a bit creepy. When they find the seating area and explore the theater's enormous stage, something seems to be there with them. Something terrifying. <laughs> Xiaolong and Xiao Xin watch in horror as two mysterious unexplained figures appear right behind the theater screen. When they run to investigate, there's no one there. They search, but they can't find a logical what explanation for what they the just saw. Mothers. And then things go from bad to worse. The entire front row of the theater seats flip down on their own and then the theater door closes. The two friends are then led on a wild goose chase as they pursue something that seems to slam doors shut right in front of them. Unable to find the source of the strange activity, they return to the theater's seating area. A pale figure seems to be watching them from one of the windows on the third floor. They charge up the stairs, but the mysterious apparition has disappeared. Back in the seating area, they demand the presence show itself, even going so far as to call the ghost a coward. 
Dumbass. It did not go well. Dumbass. Well, it's what I am. Dumbass. Found him all. Found him all. Found him all. What? Found him all. Found him all. A small bucket lying on the floor seems to move on its own. So, obviously, they proceed to kick that bucket's ass. As you do when there's a haunted bucket. But then things get much more serious Yo, and downright Dragon. terrifying. Thank you for the donation, bro. Who wins, Goku or Saitama? Ah, no one no. Ah. I think damn that's a good one. Show them what's up here. I'm serious. I say Saitama. Mmm. Stop insulting their mothers, they will stop haunting Even your Even though there ass. doesn't seem to be any electricity in the rest of the building, the theater lights seem to be powered and suddenly turn on by themselves. Even more horrifying, they illuminate no less than six dark shadowy figures lurking in the seating area, seemingly watching Xiaolong and his friend from the darkness. The two explorers are absolutely horrified, but things get even worse when all the lights suddenly turn off, including the explorers' handheld flashlights. Once Xiaolong gets his flashlight working again, the two make a run for it. You can watch this full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Damn. And by the way, I wanted to say there was a fake YouTube channel pretending to be Xiaolong's official channel. Hello, I'm Huai Xiaolong. I'm here to announce the channel of Huai Xiaolong. You've already affected my social media platform, and you've already affected my social media platform, and you've already affected my social media platform, and you've already affected my social media platform. So if you were subbed to the other channel, definitely go subscribe to his real YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. There are all new videos there, and they even have English subtitles. The Belshaw House Haunting in the 1870s, in the small California mining town of Cerro Gordo, California, two children were playing hide-and-seek in the house of wealthy local businessman Mortimer Belshaw while he was out. The children hid in a large steamer truck in the master bedroom when the latch became stuck, trapping them inside. Tragically, the two children suffocated inside the steamer trunk. Cut to modern day. Visitors and workers at the historic Belshaw House in Cerro Gordo claim that the ghosts of the two children still haunt the home. Sometimes people hear the sound of children laughing and running, but other times they hear terrifying screams and banging. Many visitors who have slept in the master bedroom claim to have felt a strange heavy pressure on their chest. So, friends Brandon, Corey, Corbin, Elton, and Matt from the YouTube channel TFIL traveled to Cerro Gordo to spend the night investigating the creepy Belshaw house. The group decides to leave Corey and Matt yeah, all alone hey, in the Williams, allegedly extremely the haunted bro, master bedroom. Donation, it did you. not go well. Matt lies down on the bed and is surrounded by cat bell toys that shine colorful lights when touched or moved. Corey sits down next to the bed and the two investigators begin to ask questions directed at any spirits that might be haunting the old home. A static camera records as they soon begin to experience some very creepy activity. If there's anyone here with us, can you give us a sign? Did you just f 
fucking hear that? What'd you hear? You're joking. What'd you hear? Dude. What'd you hear? Over there. What'd you hear? Where all the knights were all- I felt, I felt like I heard a- It was something. Dude. Oh my god, I thought I thought for sure I, I was making that you up. You just said, can you give us a sign? And it goes, I thought for sure I made that up. Like, I thought for sure I was like, Like, you heard that in your head? Yeah. No, I heard that. If that was you, could you give us a knock or maybe light up one of these balls on the bed? Are you hearing this over here? I didn't hear that one. Dude, I'm freaking out, bro. If you are a boy, can you knock one time? And if you are a girl, can you knock two times? You heard that shit over here? You heard that shit? Yeah, fuck that. You heard that, right? I thought it was one. Corey and Matt both hear a strange sound that seems like a deep breath. Not once, but twice. The creepy EVP is then followed by the unexplained sound of knocking. The two friends begin to get a bit freaked out by what they are hearing in the dark room. And then, things get much worse. Uh oh. What? Something just pulled my shirt. Oh! Dude, are you serious? And then something just pulled my shirt. Are you serious? Whoa! Dude! No. I'm not even kidding. Are you serious? I Was this open? Yeah, yeah, that was open, that was open. Dude, something, I felt the chair go like that, and then as I stand up, I feel my jacket like, go like that. How hard was it? Oh, sh dude. And the chair was like this. Put my name in there. I'm not even kidding, like, as I'm sitting on it, I felt the chair creak this way. Corey jumps up, saying that he felt like the chair he was sitting on was being moved around and that something was pulling at his jacket. What the two don't know is that the static camera in the room captured something that they couldn't see. Something absolutely terrifying. So, did you see it? Right before Corey jumps up, a strange white figure can be seen floating towards him and then disappearing oh. into thin air. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to think of this bizarre figure other than to say that it does look very odd. So I leave it up to you to decide. Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide.